Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this short video, I want to talk to you about something that's very important for women of childbearing age from 15 to 45. Women need to know this. The official recommendation for women in the U.S. and Canada right now for vitamin D is to take from 400 to 800 international units a day. More and more research is coming out to show what doctors like I have known for over a decade, that that's not even close to enough. The way one doctor recently put it, that amount of vitamin D is inconsequential to a woman's health, okay? I want to talk to you today about two studies that prove beyond doubt that women need much more vitamin D than this. It helps them, it helps their babies, it helps our future. So please take one second and share this video on your social media with a woman who's 15 to 45, with a woman who's pregnant, with a woman who's trying to get pregnant, or with a woman who's breastfeeding because she needs to know this information. Okay, let's talk about these two studies that finally puts the rest, the bunk, that women only need 400 to 800 international units of vitamin D a day. The first study I'm gonna talk about was done at the University of South Carolina Medical Center. It was a randomized controlled trial double-blinded, nobody knew anything until the study was done, okay? So this is one of those real studies that can show causation. This is not an observational or historical study. This is a randomized control trial, and that's what you wanna hear, okay? This study, they took women who were pregnant, and they gave them either 400 or 2,000 or 4,000 international units of vitamin D3 every day during their pregnancy. And they did this for, for quite a few women. So this is a pretty powerful study. What they found was when they finally opened the double-blinded envelopes and crunched all the numbers and added up the data, they found that the women who had been taking 4,000 international units of vitamin D3 every day during their pregnancy cut their risk of infection, all infections, during their pregnancy by half. Yeah, a 50% reduction in all infections while they were pregnant. This is huge, okay? So many women have to go to C-section because of a pregnancy infection, an infection during their pregnancy. They have to go to C-section because it might endanger the, the baby, okay? The next thing they found was that the incidence of preterm labor, a woman going into labor prematurely, was cut by 60%. Do you know how many C-sections a year are performed because of preterm labor and the complications that come with that? Lots. You see more where I'm going with this? The next one they found is that the incidence of preterm birth or delivery, having a baby before it's time to have that baby, was also cut by 50 to 60%. Again, slashing the rate of C-sections. And so this one study alone shows that without a doubt, and the, the chief researcher, a medical doctor on the team, when asked, said that 400 units, which is currently the official recommendation that OBGYNs give their patients, 400 or eight, some say 800, but nobody says 4,000 units a day, international units a day, right? That's inconsequential. That's a quote from the doctor who did the study. 400 units a day is inconsequential. It's background noise. It's static. It doesn't help you in any meaningful way, okay? So if you're a lady between the ages of 15 and 45, you're thinking about getting pregnant or you already are pregnant and your OBGYN tells you to take 400 units a day of vitamin D, take him a copy of the study and say, are you sure that that's consequential? Is that, is it, is that even gonna help me at all? And see what he says, okay? If you're already pregnant and your doctor says, hey, take 400 to 800 units of vitamin D a day, if he even mentions it, take him a copy of this study and say, well, now this study seems to show, and it's a randomized controlled trial, so wouldn't you rather I take 4,000 units a day? I don't think that's being disrespectful at all. I think that's protecting yourself, your health, and your baby. Okay, so that's a big deal. If, you're, if your doc is, is recommending 400 units a day or even 800 units a day, he's way behind the times. He needs to catch up on his reading and you can help him do that by sharing this with him. Okay, now here's the second study. At the end, I'm gonna tell you which kind of vitamin D you actually need to take because there's two different kinds. One helps a lot and one helps only a little. So the second study was done by Dr. Wagner, also from the Carolinas. Seems like the Carolinas are really on top of the vitamin D research, which makes me happy because they're next door to me. 
But he, everybody, every doctor knows that women don't secrete vitamin D in their breast milk. So you have to give exclusively breastfed babies a vitamin D drop. So they'll get their vitamin D so they won't develop rickets and other complications of low vitamin D. Well, here's the problem with that. Dr. Wagner did this very large study, very well done study, you can't argue with the results, in which he gave women 6,400 international units a day, women who were breastfeeding, right? They were lactating. And what he found was that magically, just unexpectedly, that's sarcasm, that they started secreting beautiful amounts of vitamin D in their breast milk. It's almost as if you give a woman what she actually needs and then she can actually give her baby what her baby actually needs. What a concept, right? And so the standard American and the standard Canadian diet never give you close to 6,400 units of vitamin D a day. If you live in Key West, Florida or further south, you might get that much a day by running around in your bikini all day, but you're never gonna get it from your diet in the, in the US and in Canada. So you're gonna have to supplement, right? So these two studies showed something. And so if you go to your OBGYN and, or, your, or your pediatrician and say, hey, I, I, read, I wanna take you know, five or 6,000 units of vitamin D3 a day, and he says, oh, that's not safe. Well, how about you just print him out a copy of this study? I'm going to put the links down below. And you can print out a copy and take it to him and say, are you sure about that, doc? Because I, I think it is safe. So anytime your doctor tells you that more than 2,000 units of vitamin D is not safe, he's behind on his reading. And you need to help him out with that by sharing this information. Now, which vitamin D should you take? Some doctors will pres prescribe vitamin D2 for you. And the reason they do that is because they don't know better. Okay, they think that if something's a prescription, it's therefore necessarily better than anything available over the counter. And in some cases that is true, but in the case of vitamin D, that most certainly is not true. Vitamin D2 is very poorly absorbed and it just doesn't raise your levels up to what you want them to be. You want your levels to be from 50 to 90. That's where optimal human health lies, okay? If your doctor tells you that a, a, a blood level of vitamin D25 that's above 50 is dangerously high, he needs to do his reading. You maybe need to print him out a copy of these studies so he can catch up because he's a little behind. So you don't want to take vitamin D2. You want to take vitamin D3. And in order to absorb vitamin D, it's a fat-soluble vitamin, just like vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin K. You have to have some fat for them to be absorbed. And so take your vitamin D with a spoonful of olive oil, avocado oil, butter, some kind of good quality fat like that. You can buy gel caps of vitamin D3 that have oil in them, but you have to be careful because some of them have canola or soybean oil, which is not good for you or your baby. So try to find one with olive oil. I'll post a link to one down below that looks like a very good quality vitamin D in olive oil, organic olive oil. And that way you know you're giving yourself the vitamin D you need and you're giving your baby the vitamin D your baby needs. Those things are so important for your health and for the future health of your baby. And when we use vitamin D during pregnancy at at least 4,000 units a day, we're going to slash the, re the rate of C-section in this country. And that's a very good thing. When a baby is born naturally, that baby is always healthier. That baby always has fewer infections. That baby is colonized with the proper bacteria for his or her gut that, that promotes good gut health and good overall health for the rest of that human's life, okay? So please, if you know someone who's pregnant or who's breastfeeding or who's trying to get pregnant, they need to be taking at least 4,000, if not 5,000 or 6,400 international units of vitamin D a day. If your doctor tells you to take 400 or 800 units a day, your doctor's behind and you need to share one of these studies with him or her, okay? Now, please, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to my channel and clicking that little bell so every time I get a bright idea, you'll be one of the very first to know. And also, if you really enjoy my videos and you feel like they've had a little impact on your overall health and life, you can click on the Patreon link down below and throw a buck or two my way. It just helps me have more time to make more videos to help more people. This is Dr. Barry. I will see you next time.